Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. Once again, I haven't streamed in a while, so I'm sorry about that. I'm excited to stream for you guys though. I hope you're all well. I'm I'm buzzing. Let's get this started, man. I, I actually tweeted, like, let me actually go back on Twitter right now. I tweeted a tweet out um, that I was live streaming Oblivion, right? And because like Oblivion's not really much of a popular game anymore. I think it was made back in 2006. So there's not really like any GIFs on Twitter. And the only GIF I could find, well just go on my Twitter profile, it's linked down in the description. It's like the most inappropriate Oblivion GIF I could find. <laughs> it's pretty funny though, so go check it out if you're interested. But um, <coughs> excuse me. Last stream, I still had this cough. And um, we had just finished off the Blood of the Divines quest. And I need to move the chat so I can actually read what you guys are saying. Let me move that right now. Pop out chat. There we go. I've just got to set up so I can see it. So now we have started the next quest at the end of that stream. Uh, we basically just did the conversation to start it and get the quest log update. But you have to find a giant well card stone in like it's like the Aelid Ruin capital from when the Aelids used to rule over Tamriel so it's a pretty cool backstory but um basically Aelid Ruins are awesome and we're gonna go and adventure around one of the biggest ones in Oblivion today so that is my plan guys thanks for all the nice comments I've just read them you guys are awesome man right I've still not put the chat in the right place let me fix that for you Right, there we go. Okay, so let's talk to Martin again. The last item for the ritual still eludes me, I'm afraid. The Mysterium Xarxes gives up its secrets reluctantly. Is that loud the enough for you guys? Glyphs all point to oblivion. But the signifier of the main symbol matches nothing. I am sorry to burden you with my problems. I'll do my best to have an answer by the time you return with the Great Welkin Stone. The Great Welkin Stone. Have I been saying that wrong for like 10 years? <laughs> oh dear. Let's ask him about the Great... I mean, it looks like it says Welk... Ard... Welkin Stone, I guess. Okay. I'm dyslexic, so... The pinnacle of Aeliad magic. Once, every Aeliad city had its great stone. But they've all been plundered over the centuries. All but one. The great stone of Miskarkand is reputed still to shine in the deep darkness of its ruined halls. But no one has ever done more than glimpse it from a distance. It is said to be guarded by the ghost of the last king of Miskarkand. Alright, I'll turn up the volume a little bit for you guys. There we go. Okay, right. Let's ask him about the ruin. This is like the capital of the Aelid city. Miskarkand is one of the most extensive Aeliad ruins in Cyrodiil. It was the capital of one of the ancient Aeliad kingdoms. You might find glories and laments among the Aeliad ruins useful. I have the library's copy at my table if you need it. Nah, I'll pass. I'm not reading that. I should have the final part of the Okay, bro, I soon. will see you later. Good old time. Martin. Such a hero. Hero, sorry. No, you know, someone just said in the chat. Oh. That was not the exit. Someone just said in the chat, um, it's not worth playing Oblivion in 2017. But to be honest, I think Oblivion has a lot better storyline and a lot better guild quest lines than Skyrim ever did. So if you can stomach the not very good graphics, which I guess they are pretty bad nowadays, well, it's definitely worth going back and playing, guys. One sec, where is... Okay. Right. So where is this? It's over in this direction. Somewhere over here? Aha, here it is. It's actually quite close to Kavach. So maybe we should go to Skinguard and um, sell our stuff. And then we'll walk over here and we'll have an adventure. Let's do this. I think the market district is in the north. The east gate. So I'm going to gamble and trust my childhood memories here, guys. <coughs> You can probably buy Oblivion for like five quid, man. So, you know, it's not like you're going to lose out if it's not good. The only thing I don't like is, like, I haven't mapped it out to a controller, so I have to play with a mouse and keyboard, which is kind of annoying. Oh, is it not open yet? Okay. Oh, right, it's 7 a.m. 
to be fair, that's not surprising. Yeah, even Morrowind is still worth it, I guess. Like, I, can't, I haven't even played the Elder Scrolls Online version of Morrowind yet, so... Man, I remember all the names of the shops and everything just from when I used to play this as a kid. Not so loud, please. Shut up. Right, I want to May sell I you some, you some stuff. Of my fine wares? She Oh, she actually sells steel armor now. The best way in Oblivion to get steel armor at level 1 was to start the Shivering Isles DLC. And then you could get it immediately. Now I'm thinking of actually selling this because at this point in the game, it only does four damage. Oh no, that might be because it needs repairing, though. Do I want to sell that? Or do I want to sell Northwind? Northwind is less useful. But it's still got enchantment left. Do you know what? I'm going to sell it. Yes. And then I'm going to ask her to repair the uh, other one for me. Gotta... We should actually probably haggle a bit here, just so we can get a slight better deal. And I also want to sell Dagger of Sparks. Might as well sell this, to be honest. I don't need to use this, so that's going to get sold. Uh, don't really need this either. If I f like uh, run out of weaponry to use later, you guys can slap me around the face and told me, tell me that I was did a bad job when I sold on my weaponry. Okay, we might as well sell this as well. Eight gold. I mean, like, it's a flawless topaz. It should be worth more, right? I mean, come on. Okay, right. Exit. I don't think she has anything good to sell. No unique items. So let's tell her to Let repair me take what you've got. my cleaver for ten gold. And then this sword for a hundred gold. Jesus Christ, woman. That was expensive. Oh my god. This lady's ripping me off, but I do have to repair my armor, so... It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen, guys. Right. Okay, she's literally robbed me. Leave me alone. Oh my god! I literally just gave you so much money. Turn around. She's like, leave me alone. Do you know what? Oh my god, I could steal this right now if you didn't follow me around and I had a high enough sneak skill. But this character doesn't. This character's like a warrior, so... Skullface, happy birthday, man. How convenient that I'd stream on your birthday. We can buy a horse. Lol joke, we don't have enough money either. I do need to speak to the person at the castle, but I think I'm going to do that on another stream. And we'll just focus on getting all the um, materials we need to perform the ritual to enter this plane of oblivion, which is basically what the main questline is at this point. So here we go. Running simulator. It's like playing player unknowns battlegrounds. If you guys play that game, by the way, join my discord linked in the description. I've got like a chat for it. And now and again, when I have, like, free time, I'm waiting for, like, a video to render during the day, then I always like to play with my fans. So, if you have the game and you're, like, decent, then uh, make sure you join. Why have I got, like, frame rate issues? That was really weird. <laughs> Don't know what that was about. <coughs> you haven't missed much. We've literally just started. Why do your regular amber arrows cost 65 gold each? Oh, is that a bandit? Okay, it actually is. Oh my god. Okay, I should get a sword out. I should have a sword out. Look, this sword is literally the worst thing to ever exist, okay? If someone uses a disintegrate armor sword on you, it just wrecks your armor. That's why all my armor had, like, really low values. Because it was just... Look... Oh, oh my god. The camera, please. Come at me, bro. Get wrecked, you stupid Khajiit. One lockpick. And look, her armor is down to one defense and two defense. And, like, I've already knocked off quite a lot. Obviously, the hunter's leather pants never gave us any armor, but we might as well take this steel battle axe for good measure. I'm using a two-handed weapon. I forgot that I used one-handed weapons. Damn it. Why did I even repair this? I'm an idiot. Okay, what do I need? I need to... 
What was the button to... I can't remember what button it was. Was it C? Yes, it was. Thank you. This is what happens when you've not played an Oblivion in a while. I'm just going to ignore this scamp and head straight over to the Aelid Ruins. The one thing I do like about Oblivion is how, like, pretty it is. It's definitely one of, like, the most prettiest areas in the Elder Scrolls universe. I mean, look at all these flowers and stuff. Beautiful. I'm going to harvest these flowers. Yeah, I wish you could shout in this game, but apparently you can't. And it makes sense. I mean, it wouldn't actually make sense if you could shout, to be fair. Oh my god, why are all these bandits coming at me like... Seriously, look at this lady. She's like some crazy kitchen wife or something with an axe. Get wrecked, woman. I will take your iron battle axe of absolute wank. Yeah, it's always good. Sometimes it gets harder to, like, give everyone your attention when you have this many subs. But, um, it's something I always like to do. Are you guys experiencing a, a bit of, like, frame drop? Because I am, and I have no idea why. I really don't know why that would be. Hmm. There's nothing open on my computer that would do that. The weather is indeed awful. In, in fact, I don't think they've really had weather. Oh my god, who's this guy? What's the matter? Getting tired? Who are you? <laughs> and it hedge wizard. <laughs> I remember these guys. <laughs> A monk robe. Oh, he doesn't even have anything good. These are guys that just sit in the hedges and literally come and like, oh look, another bandit. Mate, this guy looks pretty uh pretty buff. The enchanted item does not have enough charge. I don't care. I'm just using it for the damage, to be honest. Okay, right. We have a skill book? No, that's not a skill book. A very easy lock. Lion pelt? And a silver plate worth two gold. Please, no. Okay, right. I think we're done here. So this is the Aelid city. Well, what's left of it? I mean, the Aelids were here, like, a very long time ago. Oh god, who's this then? Let's save the game here. I don't, even, don't actually know what that is. Is that a scamp? No, it's a goblin! Get out of here, mate. Get wrecked. <laughs> He's just standing there like as if he had a hope in hell of defending himself. Please. I'm assuming there's going to be goblins at the start of this dungeon. That's just my guess. Play Borderlands. It's got co-op. Isn't Borderlands like four-player co-op? You know, I definitely play that on the second channel. But, like, I, I played Borderlands 1 and I really liked it. So, like, I'd definitely be game for that. Wow, look at that. I don't even know who this is, actually. Like, sorry, guys. I wish I could tell you, but... I mean, it looks awesome, doesn't it? Like, a bird landing on their shoulder... And then this awesome shield, and then like, looks like he's holding an elven bow. Made out of the trees or something. That looks cool. I like that. I don't know what it is though. It's really annoying. I'm going to have to go and Google that later. This is what I like about the Elder Scrolls universe. Sometimes you forget things and there's always new stuff to find. And when you start like delving deeper into the storyline and the backstory of all the characters, you know, things get so much more exciting than you originally sort of even new as possible. Another chest. Oh man, these goblins love their slaughterfish scales. I have no idea. There's not even a lake near here, so I don't know how they're getting them. Hello? I heard the combat music change and I was like, who's there? Aha! Hello, sir. Well, he can come up here. I just want to quickly check if there's any chests around here. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to run down and kill this guy before we go inside. Oh, goodness me. Sir, please. This this man's quite angry. 
Oh, I did not want to do that. I wanted to heal myself, actually. Get wrecked. Oh no, there's three goblins. This, I may have bitten off more than I can chew here. Oh, I, how did I kill the one behind him? This guy's clearly a bit more, like, tanky than his uh, brethren. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, the combat in this game isn't the best thing, is it? Get wrecked. Oh, God. Come on, then, bro. I think they did a really good job, the um, Beyond Skyrim team, when they remade Cyrodiil. They've only done the Bruma section of the map so far. But um, they redid all these goblins. And they kind of like used some of the Falma animations and quite a lot of new animations. And they made them look really good in the Skyrim engine. I was quite impressed, actually. Um, let's just have some skooma casually. You know, I reckon we can kill this guy. Come on, bro. I hate it when they use daggers as well. Oh, okay. Get wrecked. <laughs> I honestly thought he was going to take a few more hits there. But apparently not. Okay, well, everyone's dead, so let's... Well, one thing we can do is just wait one hour to regenerate our health, because that's how we roll when we play Oblivion. And then we can go inside. Update you on Sky Oblivion. You know, I haven't actually spoken to Kyle this month. He's the guy who's like... One of the guys uh, managing the uh, Sky Oblivion project. So I will talk to him and then I'll give you guys an update. So I see some blood here and also... Oh. Now I must find its great world card stone, obviously. A rusty iron mace. It looks like someone has done some fighting, but a very long time ago. Hello, sir. Get wrecked. That's the interesting thing about the difficulty in Oblivion. Like, you find that the weaker enemies become a lot harder to kill. Um, but the the easier ones are, like, too easy. Oh, my God. Okay, so I guess this is where the goblins are getting wiped out by the zombos. How's it going, bras? Look at these guys. Where's he going? Well, okay, at least two of the zombies are kind of smart. Now, one thing I could do is jump down here and kill that one. But I know that's not the way I've got to go. But he said I don't think it is, from what I remember. Is the game too loud uh, compared to my voice, or is it okay right now? Get wrecked. Okay, so the goblins have already hurt these guys a little bit. So that's pretty good. Oh god. They're quite tanky, aren't they? But at least you can kind of like completely dodge their attacks. How much damage do they do if they hit you? Oh, it's not, not that bad. Probably quite a good way to get your block skill up, actually. Oh, get away from me, you horrible corpse. I wish they still had zombies in the... Um, in Skyrim. I mean, this is pretty creepy necromancer stuff, right? But you don't really see that anymore. Oh shit, what the fuck? Alright. Oh, Get wrecked, mate. <laughs> Skeletons have like the worst like audio sound when you hit them. <laughs> Sounds like a snake being strangled. <laughs> I could actually get the razor because that's one of the DLCs, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I think we have to open this gate. And I believe there are like certain sort of puzzles in this dungeon which allow you to open it. So I think... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, we came in this way. We came straight down this path. And I think there must be like a lever around here because no, we can't go that way. But we can go back down here. So I think... That's what I'll do. Come out, me bra. I hate it. Like if you don't have a high enough acrobatic skill, when you run downstairs, you cannot attack when attack when you're in the air. 
So, like, the game kind of, like, freaks out a bit and doesn't let you attack. Which is really annoying. I feel like I'm attacking a horse right now. I mean, the audio in Oblivion wasn't the best thing, but it's quite funny. Ah, uh, look, some more goblins getting wrecked by the skeletons. You know, I could really use that steel shield that that other skeleton's holding, so we might have to go down there and kill them. Aha! Should we try a little sneaky kill here, guys? Oh, shit. No, that was not sneaky at all. Oh, my goodness. He's fucking angry. Oh, Jesus. There's two of them. Oh my god, I'm getting gangbanged here. Did he kill the skeletons? Okay, he didn't, he didn't. Right. Let's see if I can get this guy to help me out. Right, there we go, there we go. Oh my god. Get out of here, mate. I need to keep an eye on my health, guys. I'm gonna get wrecked otherwise. Strong health potion doesn't do that much, to be honest. Okay, everyone's having a go at me. I thought the skeleton might be attacking the goblin, but apparently that's not the case. I've definitely bitten off more than I can chew, boys. It's not going well. Yeah, I do prefer the green screen. There we go, now he's attacking it. Don't worry, Mr. Skeleton, I've got your back. Right, we've killed everyone. Are we friends? We're good. He's not friendly. He is definitely not friendly. Come on, then I dare you. Oh, okay. You win. You win. Look at him, like, flailing around like a spaz. Ow. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I want your shield. Actually, his mace is going to be doing quite a lot of damage as well, to be honest. Probably take that from you as well, sir. Another thing I also hate in this game is the power attack. Oh! He actually killed me. He actually killed me. I can't believe I just died. Fuck that. <laughs> well, let's try this again. Did I... Was my last save here? Really? It actually was. <sighs> you know what? I'm going to turn down the difficulty just so I can get back to where I was. Return, return, return. Good, good, good. Okay, I'll wait for these guys to run away. Now I'm just going to hop down and kill this guy here. He kicked my ass, man. He, like, literally knocked me the fuck out. Where's this guy going? Come back at me. There we go. Right, we may as well pick up these well card stones while we're here. I think they refill enchantments, but I can't remember. Actually, that might be beneficial because... Okay. We can actually use that enchantment. If that's what they do, but I don't remember. Well card stone, here we are. Oh, okay, right, it refills magicka. My bad. That would be useful if I was a mage, but I'm not. Denied! Oh, I thought that would work. It did not. <laughs> you stupid skeleton. Give me your iron arrows. Thank you, sir. Right, back where we were before. Oh, two gold. I'll actually take that, thanks. Okay, what I don't want is to get, like, murked by ten skeletons at once, so... We can't open this gate yet, so we do have to drop down right now. Hey, boys. Okay, so if they run round... Oh, hello. Look at this archer. I think he's Legolas or something. Right, let's let them run round. Then I can get them to attack those skeletons again. You probably can get to level 100 plus without exiting the cave. 
But it'll be... No, actually, you can't because you'd need certain spells in order to do it. I'll take this guy out. Come at me, bro. Get decked. Right, I want to get my steel shield from this guy. Boom. Get wrecked. How come you haven't been playing Skyrim recently? I think I've been playing Skyrim more than most games. It's just because I've done a few news videos that people feel like I haven't. So where was that steel shield? I swear... One sec, am I blind? Did I just... What? Am I actually blind right now? Or... Where did that... Okay, that's the first skeleton we killed. This is the other guy. He's got a silver mace. Nice. Where did that shield... Oh, there it is. Oh my god. I am actually blind. Confirmed. Blindness confirmed. I thought it was uh, 9 defense, but apparently it's not. Silver Mace. 5 damage. It's not great. It also swings slower, I think. Yeah, that definitely looks slower. Oh my god, let me swap weapons, thank you. Yeah, the, the Steel Mace isn't that great. I don't rate it. <clears throat> if it doesn't infect the others, then it's not a zombie. Ah, that is a good point. I did not know that. Thank you for your lessons in zombies. All right, where am I going? Oh, right. We've got to go into this room over here, I think. Mate, what are you can't. Ow! <laughs> Look at how slowly he draws his bow. What a spaz. Get wrecked, son. I was actually watching PewDiePie's stream as well earlier. Um, he was playing Player Unknown Battlefields, right? Like, he won the game that I watched playing solo. But he was just crawling, like, right... Oh, God, I'm over-encumbered. He was just crawling right to the end of the game, and it was quite boring to watch. So, what the hell? Oh, it's a fish. Like, how are they getting slaughter fish down here? I mean, seriously. Right, here's the button I needed to press to open this gate. Now we have a way out. And we can proceed. I think this opens the... One sec, is that the right way? I think. Okay, let me just look at the map because I don't want to be a fool here. Yeah, I've got to go down here. And then this gate here should now be open. So I think we've we've nailed it, boys. Clover Sloth. Thank you for your support of watching my live streams, man. Like some people do like watch all the live streams. And it's just like, that's a lot of time. But I'm glad you guys enjoy it. There are a lot of goblins in here. I'm going to save the game. I wonder if I can... Okay, there's a skeleton there. Oh! <laughs> so I want these goblins to start fighting each other. That skeleton isn't going to stand a bloody chance in hell, is he? Let's try and kill the... Oh, okay. Okay, apparently the skeletons are really good. Right, come at me, bro. Look at this awesome AI system. He just ignores the axe to the face and goes to the archer. He's like, nah, mate, I'm not having it. Oh, I'm actually surprised the goblins are losing here. To be honest, they are getting butchered by, like, everyone. This is... Oh, okay, look. This goblin's just smashing the crap out of them. <laughs> oh, what? I helped you, man. Don't shoot me with an arrow. That wasn't very nice. Come at me, boy. So I assume there's something in this pot here. I don't know what though. I want to get... There we go. Now I can just go full ham on him. Shoot him in the back, Mr. Skeleton. 
Help me out here, bro. What? How did that hit me? He was aiming over there. <laughs> did you guys see this aimbot hack? Who does he think he is? When are they doing the rest of Yon Skyrim? I will ask the team to check, but um, I think it will be a little while until they have the next expansion out. I know they're like, they're quite close with it. I did do a video on it if you're interested. They're making one of the islands. Um, I can't remember the name of it though, but it's an island that has never appeared in the Elder Scrolls games, but it's, we just know about its existence from shipping records and stuff. So they pretty much get to make up what the people there look like and everything. I think um, the island was meant to be where the giants originated. So that opens up. Is this like the, the main well card stone? I don't think it is. This is something else. Oh, it's a Avala stone. You can sell this for like a thousand gold. I don't remember what it does though. Varla stone. It looks amazing. I just kept it in my house. Oh, shit. Okay, so it restores all your enchanted items. <laughs> That's what it does. I did not mean to click on it. I wanted to, like, drop it on the floor and have a look at it. There are others in the game. It's just, like, a really cool-looking item. Now I fucking wasted it. <laughs> I had, like, one item that didn't have... Um, a full enchantment, and that was the only use it got. God damn it. So now you can see we've got the shock effect back. Get wrecked. Oh my god. Just a limp corpse flying through the air. Alright, let's save the game here. Yes, Ruskria. That is the name of the island. Thank you. It's off the north coast of Skyrim um, in the Sea of Ghosts. So if you, like, swam north from Skyrim, you'd eventually hit it. It's actually a collection of islands. But um, I don't know a lot about it. I did do tell you guys some of the lore in the video I made about it. Okay, right. Another well card stone. Average? Don't give me this average. Average locks? Had enough of you. Oh god, please. I hate doing this with a mouse. It's so awkward. One, two. One, two, one. There we go. Ooh, reflect damage 8% on self. So we already have 6% reflect damage shield. So now we have a 12%. No, 14%. What the fuck is wrong with me? 14% reflect damage. Okay, great. I'll take it. I'm going to save the game here as well, because I know that if I go to pick that lock again, it will be a different item and I'll cry. Right, so all the enemies have run off in that direction, which bodes pretty well for us, guys. Look at this guy, like, swagger, if I've ever seen it. Look at him, he's like, like a ballerina, tiptoeing everywhere. Ow. Please, sir, stop that at once. Oh, what's going on here then? Seems to be having a bit of a... Slapping some zombies. <laughs> oh, get wrecked. Don't worry, I'll finish the job for you, Mr. Gobbo. There you go, sir. Now, why did none of these, like, um, enemies have any kind of loot? Oh, don't give me this average chest... Oh, damn it. One, one, two. Oh, I just can't be bothered at this point. I know there's going to be nothing in there. I won't get any more enchanted items. That'll be the one chest of the dungeon. Right, I just need to have a quick look on the map because I don't think I'm going the right way. Oh, no. No, that's okay. I think this is okay. I want another Vala stone or whatever it's called. Hello, sir. Athletic skill has increased. Right, now we've opened the door, which we originally couldn't get through. 
What was that? That was like a very threatening approach, and then he just like just got destroyed into a thousand pieces. Get wrecked. He's not spotted me yet. I'm not obvious at all. How sneaky I am. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, well, that was easy. The nice thing is about enchantments in this game is they just go straight through the enemy's armor. So you literally destroy people in that regard. Why don't you ever use spells? Because I, that's my spell mana bar. So I heal myself once and all my mana is gone. So I don't really have the magic of the spells right now. These are worth 50g each. 50gp, bro. Hello there. Don't let me interrupt you, sir. He just wants a hug. Look at him. No hugs for you. You only have one arm. That sounds a bit harsh, actually. Probably shouldn't have said that. Don't worry, Mr. Skeleton. I'll give you a hug. There you go. Forever alone. Okay, we've got to go through here. <coughs> You're right, you can get some very good armor from that. That was one of the first DLCs for Oblivion, I do believe. It was one of the ones I only brought, like, very late on after the game of the year edition came out. Oh, I can hear. I can hear something. Hello, sir. Look at him, he's like... Worship me. He's praying to me. Get wrecked. Hello. Goodbye. Okay, right. So down there, and there's also a zombie here as well. Destroyed. Get wrecked. I hate the delay on the power attack. It's so annoying. It's like you stand there looking at them face to face for half an hour, and then you hit them. Oh, hello. I thought I, this was the same guy I just killed. Huzzah! Oh! <laughs> I love the shock enchantment because they just fly everywhere. It's so dumb. Right, okay. We don't want to go this way, do we? I think there's a shortcut just here. Actually, do I? Do I want to go that way? Because that's, the... that's where I'm meant to be going by the looks of it. Unless I'm wrong... ESO will defo be on drama alert for discrimination against disabled zombies within 25 minutes. True story. Okay. There's probably going to be some chests around here. Oh, okay. The well card stone's up here. The great well card stone. It's just... It's like a shard of light. Okay. We have to raise these staircases. I remember when I was a kid and played Oblivion, it just took me so much longer because I found all the puzzles were actually hard. But now it's just kind of like, okay, let's just find that button. And I think it was the way I thought I was meant to be going, but then I turned around. So we should just go straight on down here and it's all good. It's all good, guys. No chests. Aha, here's a chest. Very easy. That's my kind of chest. I'll take it. Potion of Cure Disease. Always good for when you're slapping vampires around the face with your blade. Okay, I'm going to save the game here. I feel like an angry enemy is going to come and take this back from me. I think there's meant to be a very famous lich that actually lives in this area. Look at this. The Pixel Stone! I have found the great Pixel Stone. Now to bring it to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. Okay. Fuck is that? Look at this guy. Oh my god! Okay, the staircases are back, and there's a lot of fucking zombies. Jesus Christ! Get out of here! Wee! Zombies! Flying zombies everywhere you look. Right, don't cast a spell at me, Mr. Lich King. Look at this guy. Hello there. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> that is gonna hurt when he casts it. I know it is. Okay, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my 
my potions. And I'm going to be like, mate, do I have a resist shock spell? Weak potion of sorcery. No. Night eye. Yes. Not really. Fire shield, frost shield. No shock spell. Not no shock shield. I could use this. I think I'm going to use that. Or we could just take Skooma because that makes everything better, right? Okay, this is this is gonna be good, right? Oh god, that still hurts quite a bit. My shock magic is much more power. Oh, that was easy. You got Rex, son. Greater staff or fireball. Next time, use your staff. And he's also got a key, so I guess we don't need to lockpick the exit now, which is good news. Okay, so what do I want to drop here, guys? Because I just I'm carrying too much stuff, you know what I mean? Lol. What does this do? I think that's the damage fatigue. Eat it all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully this doesn't kill me. Hmm, a nightshade. A very commonly used plant in po making poisons. Eat. <laughs> eat some rat poison. Oh, your alchemy has increased. A legend. Eat rat poison to improve your alchemy. <laughs> oh my god. Yesterday, I was, oh, not yesterday, but like a few days ago, I was taking out my bins. And I got the bins like this, right? I lift up the, like, it's one of those big wheelie bins. I lift up the wheelie bin thing. Uh, we've got like, because I live in an apartment, I've got to go downstairs, round the other side of the building to where the bins are, okay? It's kind of like when you live in student accommodation and you have to go and put your ru rubbish in all like one place. So I walk around, I go to this big wheelie bin, I open up the lid, I throw the rubbish in, and then I've got and like another bin bag in my hand and that's like recycling, right? So I close the, the bin again and it makes like this loud bang when like the lid closes and this fucking huge ass rat runs out from underneath the bin and I've got like like these uh, running trainers on. So they're like just a tiny mesh material. And I just genuinely like felt it scurry past my foot. Like seriously, I almost touched it. It was like disgusting. It was huge though. It was like, it was big. And I was like, oh my God. It was right under that bin. I probably scared the shit out of it. And it just like scampered. Like, I don't know where it went, but I didn't want to find out. It just like, it scared me. I wasn't ready for that to happen. Right, I was over encumbered. I'm actually okay now, so this is all good. I just ate some stuff, and apparently everything's okay now. Should probably heal myself after that ridiculous idea, but. Nightshade is very, very, very free. Oh, there's two berries. Very deadly. I know. That's why I ate it, just YOLO, right? After you've killed the boss, YOLO. Okay, right, there's. We haven't actually explored this bit here, so. What's going on over here, mate? Can't actually see much going on over there, if I'm honest. Look at this guy. King of Miskarank. I don't know if he's like an old... No, he's not an old Aelid. He's just a lich. What was that sound? Oh, God! Jesus Christ! I was expecting there to be something else there. I was like, there's a dead end, and there's a pressure plaid. I was like, okay, this will open up some kind of thing for me, right? What's that sound? Okay, so we've got a secret passage this way and some treasure. I just heard the zombie. I didn't expect to... Oh, damn it. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Slow. One, two. One... Two. This one should be the slow one. Fuck. Come on, I've got to open this, guys. Do you believe? I believe. Oh, yes! Security skill. Why do they call it security skill? Yes! Claymore of Sparks. It's two-handed. That is not what I wanted. But I will sell it, and I'm going to wear this. That means I'm over-encumbered. I remember the first time in this game I was over encumbered. I was like, what, what's going on? Like, you know, types into Google. Why can I not move in oblivion? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, okay, I'm over encumbered. Right, great. I should probably drop some stuff. But I didn't even know what the word meant. 
So, either I just wasn't very smart as a child, or it wasn't that obvious that I was actually carrying too much. Oh, I don't know why I'm carrying around this steel shield anymore. Random Adventurers. $5 donation. Thank you very much. Can't keep watching, Danny. Phone equals trash. Ah, oh, well, thanks for trying, bro. I upload all my streams after they've been played, so you can still, you know, you can watch it later on on your computer. But thanks for joining live, because it's always awesome to chat to you guys at the same time as playing. Very easy. That's what I like. Silver Longsword. Mate, look at all these gems. Look at all these gems I'm getting. It's lovely. Right, let's get out of here. Oh, okay, right. That opened with the key. Thank you very much. Get Rex, son. Ow. How dare you slap me like that. What's the matter, bro? Off balance with your one arm? Okay, 12 gold. Okay, great. Great. Things are going well. Do you remember what a weapon is, lol? What? I don't understand. I don't know, like, chilling out watching the stream on your phone is pretty cool as well. You know, actually, like, 50% of my users, from what YouTube tells me, actually watch my videos. What the fuck? Where was he going? To the, to the moon? Actually watch their videos on, on their phone. So, I mean, interesting fact of the day. 10% watch it on tablet. Wait. There is a bigger chest here. Hidden out of my eyesight. Nothing gets past me. Probably like missed like 10 chests in this video, but hey. Silver arrows. 14 gold. How exciting. I love the secret passages in the Aelid Ruins. And also the traps are hilarious. <laughs> the traps are so funny. In fact, there's a really funny video on YouTube of... I can't remember what quest it was. But um, basically, you go into this ruin and there's just like... You talk to this guy and he's like, come on, let's go and like save my friends or something. And then he like runs off and the floor just lifts up and he gets like um, skewered on the spikes in the ceiling. And then it's just like a quest update comes up and says, oh, it looks like he died. <laughs> and it's just like the funniest thing because he was so like happy about you helping him like rescue his friends. And then he immediately dies the most horrific death ever. 30 gold. Aha. I can't hear any zombies, so I'm assuming this is safe. The slowest opening ever. Okay, can we go through? Yes, we can. Thank you. Aha, and this is where we started. Bitterfish Goblin. Oh, that explains why they all carry uh, the slaughterfish scales. That's They must be like a clan. Where do you think the next Elder Scrolls game will be based? I think it's definitely going to be Valenwood, based on the latest information I have. That is my dishwasher, if you guys can hear it. Sorry if you can. Okay, right, so... We nailed it, guys. We finished the quest. We're doing well. Right, so if I have a look at my map, I need to go back to Cloud Ruler Temple. And give this into Martin just to be like, hey boy, look how quick this loading time is. You're infected. I'm infected. Really? I can't remember where my statuses are, actually. Hmm. Aha, you're right, because these have lowered themselves considerably. Apparently I have a disease that reduces my personality. <laughs> I have like herpes or something. <laughs> okay. They had status as effect. Oh, this is interesting. I remember on my old Oblivion Xbox character when it was like, you have increased all of your skills to maximum and your, your maximum bounty was at one point like 80,000 gold. And you've been... Oh, I've been jailed for 50 days. That's quite a lot. Horse is stolen one. I remember that. Largest bounty, 4,039. Yeah, I... It's always good fun. Creatures killed. People killed. I'm a savage man. 
Am I not? Ingredients eaten. That was literally this Let's Play. We ate 30 ingredients, I feel like. 19 books read. Most of them skill books. Oh, one sec. Jokes told. <laughs> 17. D diseases contracted. Okay, let's let's quickly heal ourselves. Potion of cure disease. There we go. I should be fine now, right? I think I mentioned this last stream, but if you stand here for like a few minutes and watch these guys train, then you'll actually level up your skill. Sorry guys, I'm just checking this quickly. Rave. Return. Tab. Thank you. I think you level up your blade skill. There's a few instances of that happening. Like there's two guys um, having a fist fight outside the arena as well. With all due respect, sire, there must be another way. The risk is too great. I know the risk. I was at Kavach. But there is no other way. We have no choice. The Countess will never agree to it. She will. She must. Very well. The blades are, as always, at your disposal. Ah, here you are. I have good news of a sort. Yes, let's see what he thinks of your plan. <laughs> I guess it's a bit of a crazy plan, isn't it? I like how it was. Let me get the chat up again because I can't see it. I like how he said, oh yeah, like uh, I've, I've got an idea. And then he's like, the Countess won't like it, but we're basically your bitch. So we have to do what you say. You're back and you've got the Great Stone. The Great Stone. I said I get it, man. Of course I do. Oh, I had a choice. <laughs> yes, you did. I can't force you to do anything. I understand that. And I thank you. Do I give it to him? I don't have a choice. <laughs> I never thought to see a great Welkin stone. As beautiful as all the old tales tell. But of course its beauty is a mask for its deadly power. Like everything crafted by the aliens. Now, we need only one more item. And we'll be ready to open a portal to Manka Cameron's realm. How exciting. What is the last item we need? I should have seen it sooner. It's the counterpart to the Great Welkin Stone. Just as the first two were the opposed powers of the Daedra and the Divines. Hmm. Welkin Stones contain the concentrated power of Mundus. Their counterparts are Sigil Stones, which are used to hold open Oblivion Gates. A Great Sigil Stone, then, is what we require. Oh, that sounds like it's going to be hard to obtain. It's going to be in some big-ass oblivion gate, isn't it? That's why you're in your armor. What's the catch? You're not going to like it. Joffrey doesn't like it. The Countess of Bruma certainly isn't going to like it. Great sigil stones are the anchors of great gates. The kind of gate the mythic dawn opened at Kavach. The kind of gate the mythic dawn wants to open here to destroy Bruma. Dun 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 dun. So we let them open the gate, and then we go and guess that large well card stone. I said you or sigil going to stone. Like it. I love the it. Risk is great, I know. Yolo. I was at Kavach. I saw the terrible power of the Daedric siege engine. But we have no choice. The only way to recover the amulet of kings is to allow the mythic dawn to proceed with their plan to attack Bruma. At least you'll be safe here. I mean, he's definitely coming with us. He's got his kit on. He is ready to go. Man needs a helmet, though. No. I'll lead the defense of Bruma myself. Legend. If I am to be emperor, it's time I started acting like one. It's too risky. I'll lead the battle. Basically, I just want to take the credit. Hero of Kavach, hero of Bruma. Bring it on. Remember when we first met in Kavach? I told you that I didn't want any part of the gods' plan. I still don't know if there is a divine plan, but I've come to realize that it doesn't matter. What matters is that we act, that we do what's right when confronted with evil. That's what you did at Kavach. It wasn't the gods that saved us, it was you. Were you acting for the gods? I don't know, but now it's my turn to act. Some some amazing quotes here, guys. Are you writing this down as you command? Please, my friend. 
I need your judgment, not your obedience. Oh, okay. I explain myself to you so you understand me, and so you can explain to the Countess. I'm afraid she may take a bit more convincing than you. So I'm your errand boy. I'll inform the Countess at once. Okay. Good. Have her meet me in the Chapel of Talos for a council of war. That seems a fitting place to make such desperate plans. Very well. I shall talk to the Countess. Now, you have actually um, two things you can do here, I believe. Let me just save the game. So, before we go on, let me just explain this. So, the defense of Bruma. So, we can have a war council, which basically we just chat to the other people and talk about this, this plan. But there is also allies for Bruma. So, this is another quest that is actually also connected, where you go around all the cities, which I might do next stream, and you talk to all the countesses and the countess, the counts and the countesses. And you ask them to send some troops to help you out. And it basically makes this battle, Defense of Bruma, a lot easier. And it also makes it easier for you to convince the Countess, I think. So, what one do you reckon we should do, guys? Let me know in the comments section. Because tomorrow I will be streaming the next part. And we'll either go straight for the Defense of Bruma. Or we'll go and help out some of the Counts around Oblivion. And be like, mate, send us some troops. And they send you like one or two troops. So it's more just for flavor of the story if you actually are going to go and do that extra legwork but uh let me know what you guys want to see and i'll go ahead and do that i've got a meeting now which is why i've got to end the stream about um some new t-shirts and stuff i'm doing one of them i want to do is like a catchphrase one so if you've got like a catchphrase that you like like get wrecked everyone says i should have a t-shirt that says that or another catchphrase tweet me or go on my discord and send me a message of what you like or leave a comment on this video whatever what you want to see and i'll go ahead and do that for you guys but i hope you guys enjoyed the stream thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you all in the next one have a fantastic day guys and goodbye